Yep, we're doing it again. Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are having a hair dryer battle between the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, the professional version, the highest end one that you can get your hands on versus the Lathan hair dryer. Now, I have tried out a bunch of hair dryers on this channel. I like testing out products and seeing how they compare to each other. Full disclosure, I purchased the Dyson Supersonic with my own money. Yes, it hurt. I think I bled a little bit. And Lathan was kind enough to send me this hair dryer and they, they wanted me to test out, to show exactly how their hair dryer stacked up against the Dyson Supersonic. They are very confident in this hair dryer. I, no holds barred here, guys. I am going to look at all the nitty gritty details of these two hair dryers and show you exactly the differences between the two, the pros, the cons, all the stuff and things. In true Courtney fashion, we will be doing all the wavy curly hair science comparing these two hair dryers together as best as I can. If you like these hair dryer battle series, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you think, which one you're most interested in, because honestly, I'm really intrigued. So let's get into it. Let's really take a look at how these hair dryers perform side by side. Alrighty guys, we are starting off with the Lathan hair dryer. I thought it would be fun to test out how loud the hair dryers are side by side. This is a free decibel meter app that you can download on your iPhone. I have no idea how accurate it is, but this is with the hair dryer on and you can see that it's saying it's 70 decibels or so. And this is how loud the actual room is. So I don't know how to actually calibrate this thing. You can hear what it sounded like. Honestly, it sounds more pitchy on the video than it does in person. All right, let's get to drying my hair. One, two, three, start the clock. And here we go. I did diffuse on the same airspeed and same theoretical, theoretical temperature on both hair dryers since they don't have the same number of heat settings and airflow settings i did my best i did the highest airspeed on both and the mediumistest temperature but i noticed that the lathan never felt like it got too hot i couldn't find the cold shot button on this hair dryer but i didn't need it this temperature was absolutely perfect. I used the medium. So in case you were wondering, there you go. And here we are. Let's see just how long it took me to diffuse my hair with the Lathan. Not too shabby at all. I am quite pleased with that. Now I'm just going to check and see how dry my hair was. And honestly, it got it to 100% dry. Now we're going to play around with the Dyson Supersonic professional version. All right, you can see how loud the room is. And when I turn the dryer on, this is how loud my phone is registering it is. Here's the thing. It sounded louder to me than the Lathan, but the phone registered it as being the same. So here's what it sounds like. And this is what the room sounded like. So there you go. Probably not using the app right, but I thought it would be fun to take a look at them side by side. They appear to be the same from the app. All right, one, two, three, here we go. I am going to just start diffusing as per usual. I'm making sure to use the diffusers that came with the hair dryers. They're basically the same diffuser, so it really doesn't make that much of a difference. So you can see I'm diffusing the same way, hanging upside down, pixie diffusing, hover diffusing, side to side to side. And there's something that is going to come up in just a second. So this hair dryer, I think, has been overheating. I think that's the heat sensor that turns it off automatically when it starts to get too hot. I was having to press the cold shot button. I was not diffusing it on 
high heat at all. And honestly, my hair was nowhere near dry. I would say it was 60% damp still. And I, I had to stop because the dryer was just not wanting to cooperate that day. It's quite possible I need to warranty my Dyson, but there you go. Now for one more test, I'm going to turn this up to high speed and click it over to high heat. And we're going to be measuring the temperature in the diffuser with this meat thermometer. I feel like it's pretty accurate, so let's see how hot it gets. I like measuring the temperature this way because it seems to get the most hot. I'm trying to get the highest reading I possibly can on this thermometer, and it actually took quite a long time to get it up to this temperature, and it didn't seem to get any hotter than that. Now I'm clicking this over to the highest speed, and you cannot see because the glare is so bad, but I'm trying to show you that I've got high speed and high heat on the Dyson. So I'm going to be testing it the same way. I'm not actually touching the meat thermometer to the diffuser, but kind of holding it the same distance. When I was looking at it, it showed 250. It took me a minute to get it to register 250 to show to you guys, but that is 50 degrees hotter than the Leifen and you can really feel it. All right, that is what the dry times were looking like. Now, I did use the exact same products on both days, and this time around, I used a single styler. In my previous hair dryer battles, I used a couple of different stylers, layered them together, and the Dyson dry time was significantly longer than the hair dryer I was testing it out against. And I was really shocked by that because the Dyson is known for its fast hair drying. So, I thought, okay, if I do another hair dryer battle, I'm just gonna use one styler because perhaps layering the stylers compounded the effect, I don't know. Anyway, this time around, I used a single styler that was kind of like a light gel cream product and there was still a difference in the dry time and my hair dryer, my Dyson's been on the fritz and I don't wanna go through the hassle of having to warranty it. Also, in case you were wondering, both hair dryers, the Dyson and the Leifen, have a two year warranty. So with purchase, there you go. One thing I didn't show was this cool feature on the Leifen that I thought was kind of pretty and different and unique. So when you turn it on, the light changes with the color temperature that it has. Now, the Leifen has three temperature settings. The Dyson, I think, technically has four. It has the cold shot plus the three dots. The air speeds, again, Dyson has three air speeds. The Leifen has two. Now, I'm actually curious. Do you guys need all three hair speeds? I'm thinking about it right now, and I don't think I have ever had to alternate between three different air speeds while drying my hair. I have had to use two, and I do need at least two different air speeds, but three? I haven't found myself using that feature for me personally. Perhaps if I were a professional hairstylist with a myriad of different clients, I would find myself having a need for more hair speeds, but as a layman in my house, only blow drying my own hair, two's plenty. Another thing that is interesting about the Leifen is the air filter situation. I have not seen another hair dryer with the air filter situation that the Dyson has. So Leifen did use the same technology there for their air filter, and I love that. I find that cleaning this type of air filter is easier than other types of hair filters. And that being said, the air intake for the Leifen is down here. That has some pros and cons. When I'm diffusing, sometimes the air intake being on the back of the dryer can be troublesome. Sometimes it can be troublesome being down here. As for the weight of the hair dryers, I actually find the Leifen to feel lighter weight and like more balanced. The Dyson seems to carry more weight 
in the head than the Leifen. The Leifen's very, very maneuverable. Maneuverable. Of all the hair dryers I have ever tried, if you struggle with like carpal tunnel or wrist and shoulder issues, and you're looking for something crazy lightweight, this is the most lightweight hair dryer that I have used to date. Taking a look at the attachments for the Leifen, they are the satisfying magnetic attachments, just like with the Dyson. That being said, I think the magnets on the Dyson Professional are stronger than the magnets for the Leifen, but it actually makes it easier to change out the attachments. The Dyson Professional one, you kind of have to get some muscle in there to get them off. Also, the attachments with the Leifen work perfect if you are interested in using your own diffuser. So if you don't like the diffuser it comes with, you have options. The Leifen diffuser that I used in the test to compare side by side with the Dyson is really comparable to the Dyson. They even both have a metal plate inside that helps evenly distribute heat and airflow. The one thing I do have a knock for the Leifen about is the cord length. It is significantly shorter than the Dyson cord length. That could be an issue, a problem for some people. However, however, I am beginning to question myself and my appreciation for the longer cords. What really happens is that every time I put my hair dryer up to store it, I find that I'm having to roll up this incredible length of cord and it's kind of bulky and gets in the way Whereas with the shorter cord, there's less to roll up. And again, if I were a professional in a salon, perhaps having more maneuverability with a longer cord would be incredibly helpful. But in my own home, the longer cord is unnecessary because I just plug it in and diffuse my hair. So if you are needing a longer cord, the Dyson has a longer cord than the Leifen. But really I've been enjoying having less cord to roll up when I use this. The last big comparison between the two is the price. The Leifen is significantly less expensive. While it does carry a decent price tag, it's not your everyday run of the mill hair dryer. I do feel like you are getting some really nice technology with the Leifen. You're getting a bunch of the features that come with the Dyson Supersonic that you won't find in other hair dryers. I have been wildly impressed with this hair drying option. And guys, guess what? Because you stuck around till the end of the video, you are getting an extra bonus surprise. Leifen and I are teaming up to do a giveaway. If you wanna be entered to win the Leifen Swift hair dryer in this glorious color of blue, comment down below what you're gonna do with all the time you save using this hair dryer. Cause you spend less time drying your hair when you use this hair dryer. I don't know what the deal is. Every hair dryer I test out against the Dyson Supersonic seems to take less time to dry than the Dyson Supersonic. It's, it's happened multiple times now. I'm getting confused. But if you wanna be entered to win this hair dryer, just comment on this video what you're going to do with all the time you save drying your hair. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and paying attention to the community tab, I will announce the winner in seven days on my community tab and you will have 24 hours to respond so that we can arrange for you to claim your prize. We've been doing more of these giveaways on this channel. I've been doing them over on Instagram. I want to share the love with you guys. I deeply enjoy getting to try out and test out these products and I want to make sure that y'all get that opportunity too. So that's why we're doing more giveaways. It's not much. I know that not everyone gets to try one, but at least someone else gets to try it along with me. And I hope that's fun. I hope y'all enjoy that. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.